guys, welcome back to the six vlog and to my channel. Tomorrow I am filming a partnership with a jewelry company. So I am currently laying out all my outfits. I'm basically doing a Disney Parks lookbook for the summer. So I've laid out a bunch of different outfits. I kind of wanted to show you my process for how I created these outfits and um, kind of give you a little sneak peek, even though the video will be up by the time you guys watch this, but I'm going to be vlogging this whole weekend. We're going to do the Fantasia mini golf tomorrow to record these outfits and Disney Springs and maybe a resort. We will see, but I'm really excited. I do wish I had a pass so I could go into the parks to record, but hey, I'll take what I can get. So anyway, let me show you some of these outfits I put together. So just ignore my bed because I was going to make it, but it's like 10 o'clock at night. I was like, nah, I'm not going to make it. So first off, I have this really cute Star Wars outfit, which I totally wish I could be in Hollywood Studios to rock. I have a Her Universe dress with this galaxy cardigan which is from ann taylor loft i thrifted both of these things these silver ears i put ears for a lot of these outfits but i think i'm going to show it with the ears and without the ears like just to give a little dimension because i know a lot of people don't like wearing ears but it is very disney so i decided to put some ears with a lot of them so we'll see and then my uh grogu lounge fly bag so i think it'll be really cute it has like the dress is like a sweetheart neckline so i think that this pairs together really well and i think it'll look cute my idea for this is to record by the uh, Star Wars store in Disney Springs. So that's the goal and we'll see how I do it that my only problem is i'm nervous to bring that bag because if i bring it i'm gonna have to put it inside another bag once i'm finished using it and i don't want to like damage his ears or anything i don't know i'm still trying to figure that one out but that's the first outfit and then this outfit so i showed you showed you guys this dress last week which i got with my new bestie in orlando jordan and um i am really excited to wear this for the first time she wore it to magic kingdom but sadly i don't have a pass so i couldn't go with her so i'm really excited to wear this and i have um this Mickey lunchbox, which you guys may have seen in past videos. If you know this one, you are an OG viewer because I've had this for a couple years now. And um, I think it goes really well with this outfit. And I'm going to use it as a bag. It's like a vintage lunchbox, but I'm just going to hold it as a bag. And my parents bought me another one so that I could paint one. I wanted to paint one galaxy and then just refurbish one and like keep it in this original color. But I lost the other one. I really don't know what happened to it. So I'm still on the search, but this one is going to look really cute and I'm really excited for this outfit and then I paired it with these like little confetti ears which I think looks really nice because then it, there's kind of like the rainbow but then there's also just the classic Mickey but I think it'll tie really well with some converse so we'll see and then this is kind of like French Ratatouille inspired outfit which I love blue and pink combinations what the heck oh shoot I don't know what this is I hope that this comes out I just noticed this right now probably like some fuzz or something from the dryer but anyway yeah so this dress it's very flowy I love Love it so much and i'm planning to take some tiktoks of like twirling around in this dress tomorrow so hopefully that stain comes out but um yeah, I have that. And then I will show you guys in a second, but I've also paired together like some jewelry. So like I have these pink, see if it focuses, pink Mickey or mini, I should say, macaron earrings, which are gonna go with that dress. So, cause my jewelry partnership is just a necklace and a ring. So I'm also pairing some earrings with these different outfits. And then over here, so this is a sweater, which I got from a small shop, which I'll put right here. And then I have this, these shorts, <laughs> which are thrift. By the way, of course, this video is going to be linked if you want to check out where all this stuff is from. I just kind of wanted to show you like how I'm piecing together the outfits for now. And you guys will probably know before me right now recording this what the outfits actually look like. But I kind of did like it's very 90s inspired, but I'm kind of doing like decades inspired because like flower crown is very like 70s, 80s ish vibes. And then the like pattern belt. And then I paired it with this coach bag, but I don't know if it's like too fancy for this outfit. So we'll see. And then I have my one of my favorite thrifted finds ever, which is this 101 Dalmatian shirt from the Lakeman Antique Mall. And of course, just the simple red and black ears. I really wanted to pair this with a baseball cap, but I don't really have a lot of Disney ones. I think I need to buy more. Anyway, five outfits tomorrow. <laughs> God bless Blake. He's going to be having a long day. So I'm just going to do Converse and my 
boots my ankle boots and then some earrings like i said i was going to also do my aerial vans but they're kind of dirty i can't tell how it's gonna come out on camera and i was gonna do it with the macaron outfit i feel like it just adds another dimension that i don't really want to add but i do have a pair of aerial vans and mini mouse vans so i don't know i think if this series like does well, well not series, but if this video does well with the summer looks, I'll probably continue for um, spring and fall. Or sorry, fall and you know, the other seasons. I just realized as I was talking that I have the perfect pin for this outfit. Now I need to find it. But yeah, if that if the video does well and you guys enjoy it, I'll probably, ooh, it's really dark over here, sorry. I'll probably continue and do other seasons and like, seasonal ones like Christmas and Halloween. So um, even if I don't use every Disney item in my closet this, this video, I will be able to do it for another video, hopefully. So no, where is it? So I have this. It's a yellow hidden Mickey macaron. I definitely thought I had pink. I know I had purple for sure, but I'm not seeing either of those because I wanted to pair some pins. Wait, okay, I found purple. But I guess I didn't have pink. I guess I just had purple and yellow. But I'd love to pair some pins with my outfits because that's really all I wear my pins for. I think cute is with outfits. I don't really do pin collecting. Although maybe I should because some of them are really cute. But I really just buy some pins just for like outfits. So yeah, I also have a pin from a small business called Castle Clubhouse Co, which I interviewed her for my podcast, The Owner. She was so sweet and so kind. She also just had a Disney fairy tale wedding. So it was really cool to talk with her. And so I'm gonna pair probably her pin with one of these outfits. Okay, this does kind of look cute. Let's see. Is this too much to add both of the pins or does it look cute? I don't know. We'll have to see tomorrow. <laughs> Here's the pin. Blake's watching hockey out there. If you can hear that, he was very patient. So now he put it back on. Here's the pin from Castle Clubhouse Co. So I'm gonna figure out which outfit I wanna do with that. I think I might do it with the blue one instead of the macaron pins. I think that would look cute. But anyway, I'm also watching my new obsession, Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. If you haven't seen it, I'm obsessed. I've been telling everybody about it. It is basically Sailor Moon, but in France, and it's adorable and it's addicting. You're like, I have to know what's gonna happen. I have to know what's gonna happen. I've been watching so much of it. So I'm currently watching that as I'm putting together these outfits. I don't know how I'm gonna pack these all tomorrow. I've never been the type of person to change outfits in Disney, but I need to film this video tomorrow because the video has to go up on Tuesday. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do two outfits at the mini golf and then probably three outfits at Disney Springs, but I don't know if I'm gonna carry everything in my bag and just change in the bathroom or I don't know, or maybe two at the mini golf, change in the car and then have two changes at Disney Springs. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna work on this. I need to paint my nails and then I'm probably gonna braid my hair or something so that it's nice and curly tomorrow, but I'm probably still gonna do some curls in it in the morning. And then, um, anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this up as we have our long, long day. It's gonna be fun though. We're gonna go mini golfing. We're gonna go to Disney Springs and have some really delicious food. So I'm really excited. Hi guys, it's the next day. We just filmed my first look at a place close by our apartment complex. So I added a little dog park that Nala could play in and I could film with her. So anyway, we're off to the second look. Here is my outfit. And we've got so many more in the back. I am now one of those people. So anyway, we'll see you guys at the mini golf, our first stop. I also forgot to mention I'm working on an impossible sandwich and the Malibu drink on the way. This is like one of my favorites now after I tried it. It's so yummy. Here's the new sign, guys. What did you just say? I said it's after their birthday. It's after their birthday. <laughs> Anniversary. Anniversary. So cute. It's up for their birthday. <laughs> anyway, we're off to mini golf. Here it is, mini golf. There's like a lot of construction going on over here. So you have to park like really far away. Lots of construction and walk all the way over, but it's gonna be fun. I got my next outfit together and we're gonna play some mini golf. So comment down below who you think is gonna win. I think it's gonna be me. Don't worry, we have our masks. We're just nowhere near people right now, but Yay, I'm so excited. Also, I washed all my masks. I forgot to bring one, so this one was in my purse. It's like super old, but it gets the job done. So it's gotta work for today. So cute, Mickey. 
I've never been here before. I love it, it's so adorable. The notes upon the staff you see may seem quite lovely musically, but now as you begin to play, you'll see they may get in your way. Oh no. We're on hole three and it's really cool. I'm gonna show you. Oh, of course, it didn't make the music, but it hits the chimes and then does the little notes on the way down. Okay, try again. We have an extra ball in case we lose one. <laughs> it won. <laughs> Look at these little mushrooms, he pops up. So cute. So this thing just scared the ever-loving goodness out of us. <laughs> Inside this little cave, Cerberus. Wait, not Cerberus. Why did I say Cerberus? What's his freaking name? The one on the mountain. Anyway, out into the world we go. Thinkies. The Pastoral Symphony. Guys, this hole is so cool. Watch what happens when Blake makes it in. Yes! I needed that. <laughs> he doesn't play for you. He doesn't play for losers. <laughs> Wait, can you drop them in again and see if he plays? Here he goes. So cool. This boy right here is the inspiration for the next... Ah, uh, sorry. He's the inspiration for the next installment of the Disney Bartender, hint, hint, but we're on his hole right now. Look at this hole. Here it goes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's hilarious. I am destined to win this game. <laughs> No, it's in this time. Here it comes, here it comes. Yay! <laughs> All right guys, we made it to Disney Springs. I changed in the car twice. Then I did another look at the mini golf, but their bathrooms were so far away. I just changed in the car and then got out and just filmed real quick and then got back in the car. Now I'm in my Star Wars outfit. So we're gonna go film this, then I'm gonna go back to the car and change because I don't want to carry like all of these bags. And this, the Star Wars store is pretty close to the Orange Garage, so I'm just gonna go film this, come back, change, and then enjoy the night with my last outfit. <laughs> We're going to go get a well-deserved beer and running back to the car to go change. <laughs> last change, finally. So, we're filming by the Disney store. I'm sorry, not the Disney store, the Star Wars store. We're a freaking company, like this is not just like me wallet gagging, but even if it was, who cares? And all these people were walking by giving me like dirty looks. And one guy like made a comment, he like walked by, he's like, <laughs> like that. Like, why does it bother you that I'm like standing by the store and posing? Like genuinely, why does it bother you? It very much bothered me that he did that. Like, why was that necessary? You know what I mean? Anyway, block out the haters because I got a partnership and he didn't, so. <laughs> And also I have a lovely, amazing YouTube friends like you guys who would support me if you knew me in person, so. Anyway, I'm gonna change and do my last cutie outfit and then we're gonna go enjoy some Disney Springs. I think I'm gonna go get some new basin stuff as well because I'm running low on bath bombs and maybe treat myself to something from the Disney store as well. We are here at Basin. I got some bath bombs, but you can make your own candle. We have, she so said far. we should do like all the way up to the top. top. So. Well, I'm kind of liking these spring colors, but I did want to smell the moonlight. No, we're not going with black. If we do a dark color, do moonlight. Yeah. It's going to be so pretty. Here's our completed candle. We are here at the Boathouse. This is becoming like one of my favorite restaurants because I mean, look at this view. And then to the left are all these tables right by the boats and they're so pretty. There's Saratoga Springs in the background. 
but I got a coconut mojito flake on the old fashioned and their drinks are delicious. Their truffle fries are insane. And today we're gonna try the pimento cheese dip. So I'm really excited. We're here at Paradiso 37. Trying some new drinks. Say cheese. <laughs> All right, so Blake got the large butter margarita. I got the regular size down by the bay, which has like coconut, pineapple, and grenadine. Looks so yummy. All right, we're on the last stop of our tour. I'm feeling the effects of the first two drinks, but we're here at City Works. I've never been here before. Um, I posted a poll on the Mouse Club podcast Instagram asking what we should try at Disney Springs, and someone mentioned this place, and they said to sit outside because sometimes the House of Blues has live music, and so far it's really nice. So I got a lemon drop, really got the Key West Ale, and we're gonna get some yummy, yummy food. So we got the pretzel bites kung pao cauliflower so we'll see how it tastes he loves to mess with my shots <laughs> next round we got the froze and blake got a kentucky mule it's really yummy it kind of tastes like a strawberry daiquiri it doesn't really taste like rose at all we also accidentally ate the peppers on the kung pao cauliflower and blake is having a hard time i feel like it wasn't oh, that bad boy. it definitely hurt but <laughs> he's been hiccuping it's been really funny <laughs> Lastly, we got the Snickers pie. Oh my gosh, Oreo press, peanut butter mousse, Snickers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs>